Hey, I'm Zendaya, and you're watching Salam Dunk. As a lot of you know, I'm multi-ethnic. My mom is Caucasian, and my dad is African-American. I've always believed that it is important to be inclusive of people from all backgrounds. One thing I didn't realize about Iraq is that there are a number of different ethnic groups in the country, and also people with different religious beliefs. There's not just one Iraq, it's a diverse mix, just like we have in America. And just like here, there's been a long history of tension between the different ethnic groups and religious groups. One one of the things this episode explores is the fact that the AUIS basketball team has people from different ethnicities too. And for them to be successful as a team, they'll have to forget about the differences and work together. It is an inspiring story about teamwork and friendship. Let's watch. For me as an Arab person, when I like was in Baghdad, like yeah, I had something like against Kurdish people and also Kurdish people like has something against me. But once I'm the, the manager of the basketball team, I have to deal with Arab, Kurd, Turkmen, Christian, I have to deal with all of them. Arabs, Turkmen, Kurds. We have Christians, we have Muslims, we have Mendai. It's just like mini Iraq is all put together in AIS women basketball team. Mama, we could use some Dr. Mama Safa these days, all right? Do you feel cold? Do you, do you need something from me? Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Alvin. Okay. Is this good, or you want me to get you another track here? No, it's good. Thank you. Cool. In the team at the beginning, I care about Arab girls more than Kurdish girls. But now, after like being in a debate club and being the manager of the basketball team, I knew that I have to talk with them in order to be a good leader, in order to stop fighting against each other. Come on, Dilo. I had to think as the manager, not as an Arab. Now I have Kurdish girls who are like really friends. Dilo, she is one of my best friends. Inji, she is Turkmen, she is one of my best friends. And my best friend, Mariam, she's a Christian. Hey, Hello. How are you? I'm not good. Why? I have American History exam and IT exam. Come on, look at the camera. Ah, ah. <laughs> what do you have? American History exam and huh? IT exam okay. on Sunday. On Sunday? And I'm totally screwed. Yee hee, a big smile. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Where did you say? اي زين انا اذا ما قالوا لي شيء شنو معناها؟ معناتها ما في مروان ما مقبول وما ادري مين مروان؟ ليش؟ ما ادري رافضينهم بالفيزا اي ليش رافضينهم بالفيزا؟ بس المقبولين عائشه وارام هذولاك الاثنين رافضينهم بالفيزا يعني شو رايك؟ And I did the interview visa maybe like one month, five weeks ago actually, and I didn't get my visa yet. At first I did the application, then I went to do an interview, and after the interview they selected some students, and after that they selected me. So it has been a long process, you know? And they won't select me again actually. Like if, if I didn't get the visa this time, they won't give me the opportunity next year. Iraq is how difficult it is to go anywhere. They need visa for everywhere. Why is it that difficult? I don't understand. Like Iraqis are just like other people. Why their um, visa should be like hard to get? We need to be constantly talking on the court. You should already know who the girl you're going in for is guarding. You should already know whether we're playing half court or full court defense. Let's turn the damn cell phones off before we come into the team meeting. Okay? Let's just take a minute and do that right now. We played against the mid school and it was our first game. We lost against them by one point. We asked Ryan to have a rematch game with them. Let's get it in. Hey, we owe these guys one, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, let's go give it to them. Yes. Hey, we get a win today. Yes. Yeah. 
We're gonna go get a W. Listen out, girls. Uh, she sent us. Yes. Yes. She said. Hi mates, tonight I want to hear a good news. Really, I'm sorry because I can't attend the game because I've got lots of homework. And by my heart with you, I'm sure you can do it. Um, say hello to all the players and uh, let them know that um, Ola supports us, uh, even if she isn't with us. Peace. Kurdish. Uh, Kurdish. 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 Wow. crazy. I swear, I just wanted to go and pull her from her hair and just beat the damn off her. Wait, wait, everybody take a deep breath. All right, let's relax. Player number two, I was guarding her and she yelled at me. She kept yelling, yelling, yelling. I was so angry. I didn't know how, what to do. I just told her to shut up. That moment, the referee saw me. Come on. She was yelling at all of us, and the referee did not see that. But when I told her to shut up, the referee saw that. What happened? Why did she keep yelling at me? What did you do? I told her to shut up. Good. OK. Who's the I ball. Who's... Juan, Juan, where are you going? Shut up and play. I, I love it. If I have a basketball philosophy or how the, I want the girls to carry themselves on the court, absolutely, that's it. We're in better shape than them, right? Yeah. yeah. In better shape than them. Let's let's beat them now. The fourth quarter is the reason we run all those sprints in practice. really it's like I, I just love everything about basketball I don't know what to say really I need it like <laughs> I feel like I need to play basketball so I go and play basketball and I feel relieved I knew that he's leaving since last year. Every day I'm telling myself that he's leaving, he's leaving, he's leaving. To make it easier for me, he may come back here, maybe I'll go there, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it won't be like before. So it's hard. Baghdad, my parents. They left to Baghdad. They're not home? No, so just my brother. 
How you doing, Leila? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> She's always like, I'm tired. So I ask her, why you are tired? She says, I had a basketball practice. <laughs> I see. So why you go to basketball if it's making you so tired and you can't study? She says, I love basketball. <laughs> من جهة الثمانية بالطريق صار حادث كانوا تنعني أمي وأبوي وأخوي الوصاني Can you sing for المهم فتن نقطة تفتيش فرادوا الهوية مع الأخوية فلما أخذوا الهوية طبعا هالفترة جدا خطرة كانت لأنه على الهوية القتل كان You were singing Larry yesterday in an annoying way. Yeah. Can you repeat it, please? Yeah. No. فأخذوا هوية أخوية فقالوا لي بدون سحمة خلي ينزل الأخ فأخوية نزل من نزل الشرطة قالوا هذا حيبقى يانا أنتوا روحوا الله محمد علي أكم ولا تناقشون Oh my God. The Beatles. Oh, poor them. They kill themselves. Now, you know, after the again, death, yeah. yeah, again and again, because they hear me singing their song. Yeah. So let it be, you know. You see, my doctor of and I was like, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to يعني بقى ما عندكم اليوم مش عارفه فعاليات شيء يوم كان عندي شغل بالفويس اخذت صور صور اها وشتغلت على الويب سايت هم ينو ينامو شو سويتوا ا علمني شلون اديتين ان ارتيكل اون الويب سايت شلون ضيفين يعني تحطين ارتيكل اشتغل عليه يعني بس شو بدك تسوي شو بدك تسوي Everybody, right here. Play it. Play it from right there. Go up and score. Good. Again. You all right? I feel like if I breathe too hard, everyone on the team is going to break these days. I know you're hurt. I know you were hurt. Yeah, I saw how bad your shoulder hurts. Just in general, as a team, and you as our captain, we need a little bit more swallowing it and just playing through a little bit more pain. OK? OK. All right, get over there. Hustle. I think women athletics is important. It's not just about like sport. We have like our culture and uh, because of traditions, 
we have some boundaries and we want to pass all these boundaries you know so sport is a way to pass these boundaries my parents they are like kind of conservative but when they hear like all this one basketball team and everything they feel happy you know how are you i'm fine thank you i'm feeling and sad why because i'm going to leave you today yeah she's going to lebanon today before 2003 and saddam's regime my mom she was like a normal dentist she had her clinic and she used to teach in the dental school Baghdad University but now her life changed significantly now she's a politician uh, like she's traveling and all this stuff so I think yeah like women now they have more chances than before and actually I experienced that change because like it happens to my mom I want to do business I want to be a leader in my country I want to do both and basketball definitely is helping me to do that but debating in Iraq, we need this thing because like we've been just fighting against each other. Debating is, is not just about defeating others' arguments. It's about like getting to know each other. And in the debate tournament, my partner, Paula, he was a Kurdish person. Our team was really good. We got to the semi-final. We're looking at Iraq and the future of Iraq and the future of Kurdistan, hopefully as a prosperous democracy. This requires people who would be good managers, who would be good engineers, people who are versed in the uh, uh, leadership of our country, management of the economy of a country. And this part of the world really can have a different future from its terrible, miserable past. And education is absolutely key to that. We have to remind the politicians of something. The master is the citizens. Don't forget that. We are people. We are in control. We control politics. We control politicians. They don't control us. We have to know that. Thank you very much, all. Thank you, Prime Minister. We are free to choose, and we choose to vote. We don't need someone to tell us what's right and what's wrong. We already know that, people. So don't force us, please, because we know what's right and what's wrong. We are young. We are very young. But we already know. Thank you very much. Hey, Shanish. After 2003, after the falling of Saddam regime, my mom chose to be in politics and chose to be a politician. Everything in my life changed. My mom, I can't see her the whole time. Uh, even if, if she's not working, she's calling. Then my brother died because of the security situation. So we had to move to Jordan because my mom, she was like really afraid. But she stayed in Baghdad and my dad stayed in Baghdad because they were working. And we lived in Jordan with my aunt. And then my dad also got called because of the security situation. So, so my mom moved to come to live with us in Jordan. So it's, now I lost like two family members, my brother and my dad. So after that, we moved back to Baghdad. But with all these changes, I'm now the oldest sister. So I have to take care of my brother and sister and be strong, because if I'm not strong, they can be strong. And also be strong in order to help my mom, because my mom, she has a mission. And she wants to do something for this country. And without my help, she won't be able to do that. We're not just building a basketball team. We're building a basketball program. 
We're building a program with the hopes that in a few years, we have the best basketball program, not in Suleimani, but in all of Iraq, right? The best women's basketball program in the entire country. This is a big opportunity for us. Let's go out today and take advantage of that. Let's show them, let's show everybody who comes to watch how much progress we've made in the last year. All right, let's get it in. It's the last quarter of the game, and we still had two goals. I felt so bad for what he thought. Can you turn this off? So much of what sports is, is fighting until the end. And, and it's at 64 to two, and we have girls who are 5'3", scrapping for jump balls against girls who are 6'1 and 100 pounds more than them. The best thing you can give them is, is the resilience and the fight to, to, to face that with, with all the effort and determination it takes because most of them have been through more in the last three years than any of us who've come here to work from the West will face in our lifetime. I always tell myself that that person is leaving. I know is leaving. Everyone is leaving. I just keep telling myself that that person is going to leave. Every single day, I'm thinking that I might lose someone I care about in one of these explosions. The bus was blown up, and we know most of the people on that bus. And I cried a little bit. And we didn't talk about it, really. Next day was a new day. Nothing happened yesterday. That's it. I just decided not to cry. So, good job. Good job. we did not play well. And I don't know if we had played well, if we come out and win today, probably not. That's a really good team. Most of those girls have been playing for years. This is a part of learning what it means to be a team and of building a basketball program. It probably hurts a little bit. And you know what? If you're competitive, it should hurt a little bit. It should. But we're going to rebound from this. We're going to have a good week of practice. And we're going to get ready for the dog game. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, It was so devastating to watch them lose like that. But you know, to me, what Coach Ryan said at the end was exactly right. The players were fighting the whole way, right up until the very end, even though they knew they couldn't win. That kind of tenacity and perseverance is way more important than anything else. Because if you win every time you play, you're never gonna know what it's like to bounce back from disappointments. And as someone who is very familiar with big disappointments, I know firsthand that it is not about winning every time. It's about having the resilience to pick yourself up when you don't win. Next up is our fourth and final episode, where the team takes a road trip to play their final game of the season, and we get a glimpse of what the players and Coach Ryan have been up to since the film was shot. Don't miss it. And for more powerful videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the Teen Vogue channel. <laughs>